Marriage is a time when a growing love is made public, when a man and a woman commit their love and their life with promises to one another in the very presence of witnesses. On behalf of Joe and Christina, they welcome each one here, and they thank you for coming to share in their wedding celebration. And marriage is a promise that two hearts gladly make. It's a promise to be tender, to care, to help, to give and take. Marriage is a promise to share one life together, and it's a love-filled promise meant to be kept forever. As I say these promises, give them to each other from your hearts. I promise to give you the best of myself, to ask of you no more than you can give. And I promise to accept you the way that I fell in love with you, for your qualities, your abilities, and I will not reshape you in a different image. And I promise to respect you with your own interests, desires, and needs, sometimes different, but no less important than my own. And finally, I promise to love you through good and difficult times with all I have to give and all I feel inside completely and forever. If you make these promises to one another, say I do. <laughs> when a man and a woman falls in love and they want to be a part of each other's life, they do what you're doing. They come forward to be married. This is honorable because this is the time to become one, two halves are made whole, and two friends become husband and wife with the same goal and purpose to have a happy home and be a family. So at this time, in the presence of witnesses, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? If so, say, I do. I do. In the very presence of witnesses, do you now take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? If so, say, I do. Do you promise to love each other, be ever faithful to one another, stand by each other's side, forsaking all others, and receive each other from this moment on, for better or worse, richer or poor, sickness and health, for as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I do. You're giving and receiving the wedding ring, which is a symbol of the marriage covenant that you enter into with your promises, your love to one another, your commitment to each other as husband and wife. So from this day forward, every time you look upon your rings, you're going to know you're not alone in this life, that you have someone who loves you, your true love, your best friend, the one that's always going to be there for you. <laughs> you need one too. <laughs> so from this day forward, every time you look upon your rings, you're going to know you're not alone in this life, that you do have somebody who loves you, your true love, the one that's always going to be there for you. It has a never-ending circle with no beginning or end, which is like your love, never-ending love. So at this time, you'd hand your flowers next to you, and if the rings would be given to the bride and groom for each other, And the groom's going to place the wedding ring on the wedding. Now hold each other's hand and repeat after me to your beautiful bride. Say, I love you, Christina, and with all my love and promises, with this ring, I thee wed. Now in turn, as the bride looks into the groom's eyes and says, I love you, and with all my love and promises, with this ring, I thee wed. You may take your flowers back. In the language of flowers, a red rose is a symbol of love, and it would be our hope that wherever you make your home, designate a permanent spot. Put a vase, two red roses that fit in, and celebrate every year on your wedding anniversary, at least in part by both of you bringing a red rose, placing it in the vase as a renewal, a recommitment of your love and promises you entered into as husband and wife. And then during the year, if things happen, words can't resolve, if just one of you would bring a red rose and place it in the vase as a statement of your love. The other would see it and accept it.
You're standing by your true love, your best friend. Always bring honor, respect to your relationship, and wherever you go, whatever you do, be each other's best representatives. Do you both accept this charge today? If so, say, I do. Therefore, it is with great honor by the authority vested in me as an ordained minister of the gospel by the laws of the state of Nevada to proudly pronounce you husband and wife. And you may sit with a big kiss <laughs> while we congratulate Woo! Joe Woo! and Christina Woo! as they sit with a big kiss.